Today we're going to be going over St. Augustine Distillery, double cask bourbon. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. I've never had it myself. I personally have not either. It's out of Florida. It's out of Florida, which so are we. We're going to be touching on today. Florida is a great state to live in. A lot mm. of a lot of winners. We're winners. Winners. Mm. How about I crack this bottle open? Crack it open, man. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the mouse because I left it over there. Do that. While you get to that, I will get to this. Quick little interlude. So, Ooh. Oh, that's a good pop, baby. Mm. I like it. Smell good? Ah, it smells amazing. All right, what do we got going on here? Stuff. So, my friend Eric over here is gonna touch on the history a little I'm bit of the history. Briefly going to touch on the history of St. Augustine <clears throat> Distillery, which is this double cask bourbon right out of St. Augustine, Florida. Now, a little fun fact about it is it is located in a historic FPNL ice plant. So, FPNL, before they did electricity, they did ice. <laughs> now, this is going back to um, 1907, this started. Well, the ice plant did. The whiskey, I have no idea, but it's local and out of Florida. So here we are. All right. So with that being said, we're going to do a pointing system. One's going to be based off of smell, one through 10. The next is going to be off of taste, one through 10. And then we're going to give it an overall rating, one through 10. So one through 10. One through 10, one through 10. One through 10. One through 10. All right, math. <laughs> It smells good. It has a good, a lot of alcohol smell to it. Mm -hmm. it smell caramel. Yeah, a little bit of caramel. Mm. Caramel or caramel? Caramel. Mm. Mine smells like caramel. Mm. Smell, I'll give it a like four for smell. I'd give it a five. Yeah? I mean, I, that's what I would. I don't know to write down with though. Okay. Mm. Thanks. Mmm. Taste though. Taste though, I'll give it a seven. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with you on that seven. And um it's got some it's got some bite to it on the back end though. It does. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. It's, I would say it's a little floral. I taste the flowers. Yeah. I enjoy it overall. Yeah. Overall, I'm gonna stick to uh, a seven point five. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with seven. Anyways. So, so we're touching on Florida today. Florida is where we are from. We've lived here for many years. I don't know about you, but I've lived here for about 18, 18 years. Mm -hmm. I lived here most of my 22 years on this planet. Ooh, 22 years. <laughs> well, that's bullshit. <laughs> so my wife has lived here her whole life. Homestead. Hmm. Miami girl. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. First story. What do we got going on here? Uh, ooh. Well, I'm going to let you take this because good. you got the tattoos and you kind of got muscles <clears throat> a little bit. So you're familiar with guns. All right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Guns. Guns. Oh, Relax. This is Florida. Everything's a licensed gun range. That is facts. Here in Florida, we do love our guns. There is no shame about that, and we take pride in that for sure. So, lately with this whole outbreak thing, different businesses have been declared essential, medical, what outbreak fire, thing? EMS, all that good stuff. Hmm? What's the outbreak? The outbreak? Yeah. Tell us about it. All right, some sort of sickness going on. Uh, Are you down with the sickness? <laughs> No, <laughs> I am not. All right. But because of that whole sickness, gun stores have been declared a essential business. 
And a fun fact of that, so have liquor stores. Well, I mean, it's Florida. Yes. I so, mean, guns and liquor. We all know about Florida man. <laughs> Florida man thrives here. And without guns and liquor, we would have no Florida man stories. None. So other businesses close down and gun stores and liquor stores stay open for probably the survival of, of us. Otherwise, we, we would start, oh, internal killing of each other. Again, it's Florida. These people don't matter. It's the rest of the nation would probably be grateful for. Well, so speaking of which, we were pretty hard on Kentucky on our first episode. Just came yeah. off like sorry, big kids, and we just, we apologize, Kentucky. You're actually better people than we are. I can almost guarantee that. As yeah. in better people than Sean and I, not necessarily better Not Florida than people. Floridians, yeah, but better so people than Sean. They're great. Yeah. So uh, amidst all this coronavirus uh, boogaloo, we've also been declared that we're going to have a really bad hurricane season to follow up. <clears throat> bullshit. Do you hear about this? It's bullshit. And you act like they say this every year. They do say this every year. Every year, it is an above average hurricane season. Now, mind you, we do have some huge threats. Like hurricanes? Yes, and tropical storms. Yes. Yes. And uh, afternoon storms. And uh, storms. sun showers. You know. Well, here's what they're suggesting. The start of the season is only two months away. But AccuWeather, uh, they say that we're going to have... About 14 to 18 tropical storms this year. Okay. And an average hurricane season has about 12 named storms. Okay. Right? So cool. they're really pumping up the numbers here. Right. Now, just because uh, mm -hmm. of those numbers doesn't necessarily mean that that's what we're going to get butt fucked with. So really, it's just storms. Are Chances out. are we're not going to get butt fucked. Half of those no. butt fuckings. Correct? Yeah. 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 We might get one. Maybe. Oh, here's to that one. Now, now that you're saying that, we're going to get hit <laughs> with all 14. We're going to get fucked. Mm -hmm. Good whiskey, though. Yeah. It has a different flavor to it. Like, it's it's, it's different. It's, it's not different. like your normal whiskey that you buy off the shelf. Not so much like Woodford. Well, where did we drink last week? off the shelf? Huh? You didn't get this off the shelf? No, I had my wife pick it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's 93.8 proof. This is really good. It's strong, right? Yeah. And that's that. That's probably that alcohol smell that I got at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. We could light something on fire, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So, aside from hurricanes and coronavirus and gun gun stores, let's talk about coronavirus. Let's talk about it. So I have two kids, two little girls, um, under four, and uh, I can kind of get what they're saying, but I mean, we don't we don't send our kids to school. They're not in daycare or anything like that. But apparently, in Florida, people are starting to get the brunt of the closed schools. Because and now, now parents are having to home teach. and, and, and home teach. Home they're, just, they're having to look out for their own fucking kids, which is <laughs> unheard of for them, apparently. A natural thing. Right? So here's the headline. Coronavirus. The importance of teachers is a lesson we're all learning. <laughs> Why? Well, because... Why are you fucking learning this lesson now? Parents depend so much on other people to raise their kids as opposed to them raising their kids. I have no, I have no idea. I don't have kids. I have well, listen, cats. I get it, right? I take care of my cats. I get the whole point. And it's, it's, it's sometimes you come home and you had a hard day at work and these little monsters are just fucking screaming. I've seen and yelling it. at you and climbing on you and you're just like, shut the fuck up. I've, I've seen you do it. I'm sure. I'm, when you yeah. get home to your cats, I'm sure sometimes they're... You have no they're, idea. You have no clue. <laughs> he is asking for food the minute I walk in the door. And you just he's, wanna... he's wanting to go outside on the porch, and, and he's looking at me like my water dish. I can see my face in my bowl. I'm like, so you understand. What the fuck? But here's what I'm saying. Is it is it that bad that you need a news story out of it? You need to get some kind of like uh, sympathy out of this for watching your own damn kids for a couple minutes? Look, it hasn't even been, what, two full weeks yet, and these people are complaining like a bunch of fucking assholes. Look, I've seen other people's kids out and about. <laughs> I'm kind of sympathizing. Yeah, but I'm complaining. Listen, I don't want to be around their kids. Dude. I watch my kids. I love my kids, and I hate them at the same time. I love your kids, but I, I, get, I get to go home. You get to go home. <laughs> they're great kids. They are great kids. But they're also assholes. Total and complete assholes, right? So this guy says, I'm just watching the NBA. 
right? Yeah. I couldn't even tell you the last time I watched a fucking TV show. Because <laughs> I can't. Why? why? You can't hear it. It's over what? You can't. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. It's, I want to watch True and the Rainbow Kingdom. And it's like, just let me fucking watch Pinky Blinders for one minute. All I need is 15 minutes, and in a week, I'll get through this episode. Yeah. I've done it before. All Peppa Pig. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's garbage. It's all garbage TV, YouTube kids, this little blonde girl that opens packages and shit. Anyways, maybe, this guy's problem is the NBA. Maybe, maybe that's what we should do. We should start opening packages. <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're opening adult packages. This is a gift. This is a gift. So... I've been an Orlando Magic fan since the team's inception in 1989, and they looked to be playoff bound. Is who gives a fuck? Orlando Magic fan. Watch your kids, right? Why is your kids watching basketball? Fact of the matter is, <laughs> fact of the matter is, is we don't know shit about this COVID-19 yet. We don't know shit about coronavirus at all. Obviously, people are dying. In droves. Left and right. Left and right. Right? And it's spreading faster than we thought. And you have to stay I, home. I like to say it's bullshit. Right? But something inside me says, take this a little more seriously than you are. That's what I'm trying to do. So this guy bitching about not being able to watch the Orlando Magic game pisses me the fuck off. Especially since basketball's not even happening right now. So like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So, what the fuck's he really bitching about? He's watching reruns because of the kids. Because of the kids. He's watching reruns now. So anyways, this guy's an asshole. Let's just move on. Yeah. Uh, we're going to touch on this quickly. There's not a lot of good stories in Florida right now because it's all about COVID-19 and everybody getting infected. What was the number that we went up to? Uh, locally or, or statewide? Statewide. Statewide. I believe they had... Uh, over over the last night was 3,700 and change as far as new new cases. Which is crazy. This yeah. thing's moving fast. Well, or it, we're importing it now. We're bringing it in from up north. Yeah, all these <laughs> fucking New Yorkers. <laughs> we gotta get a New York whiskey oh. this next episode. Oh, we because, do. Uh, I got Hopefully a lot to say. it's not gonna be infected. Though. They're flying in. But, can't hate them on too much because we are not fucking stopping them at no. all. Yeah, welcome. Oh, come on in. The Statue of Liberty right. says, bring us your poor, bring us your tired. Bring us your COVID-19. Florida, like Mickey Mouse <laughs> is saying, bring us, your, bring us your sick, bring us your tired. <laughs> so, the last Florida story that we have is this absolute genius kid. Genius kid. This, genius. This kid's going places, and clearly he went places because he was on Shark Tank. He must have been in New York because he's opening a factory in Florida. And he was on Shark Tank. He has to be from New York. <laughs> He's from New York. He's opening, I think it was Palm Bay here we got. Now, um, I've heard two things about the description of Florida. I've heard it's called Southern New York and it's called also Northern Havana, depending on where you are. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, we're very close to the Mets Stadium where they spring train. And New York. New York loves that shit. New York loves that shit. Um, Except for Yankee fans. They don't love that shit. <laughs> So, this kid's opening a plant or a factory, and it's going to be creating jobs. Good for him. Bringing jobs to Florida. Bringing jobs to Florida. From New York. From New York. Um, and what he got on Shark Tank and got famous for were shampoo pods. Shampoo pods. Or And body wash drops. Uh, no, I'm curious. Drops, I'm sorry. Kids going to be eating these things next? Guaranteed. Mm. They're portable. Yeah. You throw them in your pocket. I think we were talking about earlier the SLC Punk episode. Yeah, uh, episode the, the movie. Sheet of acid, yeah. The sheet of acid in his yeah. pocket. They're just gonna have really clean underwear. But now he, here's what kind of gets me about this is so it's basically a dime sized pod of shampoo. Why do you need this individually wrapped and you can't control your amount of shampoo out of the bottle itself? You know, I don't. I don't. Is this for people who have no control of shampoo? I don't. <laughs> Clearly, I have dreads and people are going to say, oh, you don't even use shampoo. Yes, I, I do use shampoo. Let's hear what this so, I do know how to regulate my usage. usage. Single-use plastics are a menace to our environment. So, they have... Got it. ...individually wrapped plastic shampoo. Yes. Fuck this kid. Adam Sharkway. Shark... Sharkaway. Sharkway. He makes no fucking sense, then. Fuck him. I agree. Yeah. Fuck him. Well, so that's it from Florida. Yep, there you go. So not much going on. You got us. 
We're from South Florida. We'll be here. We'll be here drinking whiskey. Thank you, sir. St. Augustine. Let's go ahead and jump on to world news. Ah, world news. And you can't speak about world news without talking about the Tiger King, Joe Exotic himself. The Tiger King. This you have not seen yet. No, I have not seen. I, You know what? I, I feel like right now I'm living in a time where if I said I've never seen Star Wars, this is exactly what's happening. Yeah, basically, yeah. I've never seen yeah. Star Wars either. Well, he is an absolute hunk of a man. And apparently, he got a lot, of, a lot of shit. Did a lot of things. He's a crazy fucking bastard. I just, just to say, it. every meme is about him right now. So uh, eventually, I mean, at some point, I, I, I can't, I can't lie. I'm, I'm like four episodes in, and it's, it's incredible. I love it. It's one of my favorite things right now. You come in, what, once a week? Mm -hmm. See him maybe once a week. Yeah. And he gets hooked on all these bullshit shows bullshit that my shows. wife watches. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Love is blind. Love is that, blind. That was my last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Tell tell us why you like it. Well, well, that kind of put like a little damper on our on our friendship because I would come over to hang out with you and yeah, and then she'd be conveniently watching an episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'd be having him make us popcorn you know, for Love is Blind. So. <laughs> yeah. So. You didn't tell us why you like it though. Love is blind. Yeah. What's what is it about that show? Oh, like I can't stand it. It's, it's, it's I hate it. It's a train wreck. That's what it is. It's a train wreck. Well, then you would love. Did, this. did you know Mark is only twenty four? <laughs> yeah. Mark is only twenty four. No yeah. Well, that's great. Um, back to Joe Exotic. <laughs> Speaking of train wrecks, <laughs> um, he, he's amazing. I love him. I, I love everything about him so far. I'm only, I'm only three episodes in. I'm confused, because I, I, at first I thought Joe Exotic was from Florida. So that made complete sense how fucked up he is. He looks like he's from Florida. Apparently, just some other person in part of the show is from it's, Florida. It's Carol Baskin, who... Which is fucking a psycho. She's crazy. She killed her husband, and she fed him to the Tigers. That's I funny. can guarantee it. Those are the memes I'm seeing. So, what we're... Well, we have here is a problem where she's saying that everybody's lying about her because of the Netflix show, and she did not kill her husband and feed him to tigers. Which I don't. If you watch the show, I don't know. Give me your opinion, but I think she a hundred percent did it. We should have people um, send emails and let us know their opinion, or send something. What a great idea! You should go on Shark Tank with that. I might. <laughs> I might. So let Shark Tank know. And Maybe they'll invest in your I'm email. Individually idea. plastic wrap it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my breakdown of Joe Exotic. And I want you to watch this this week. That's your homework for this uh, week. So I have homework this week. Yeah, watch Joe, watch Tiger King. And we're gonna talk about this more because this is just it's too much of a phenomenon right now. Everybody's talking about it. I love it. Joe Exotic is he's great, he's gay. He does, he does meth. He has tigers. He has two boyfriends. He's a full on Florida man. He, sh he shoots guns. Like, he, yeah, he's. He, he legit is a Florida man. He is a Florida man through and through. And he actually, uh, pretty close to us, which is, what is that? Lion Country Safari. Mm -hmm. he, he, had a, he had a little experience there. Yeah, it's about 25 minutes south of us. Yeah, not bad. Good guy. Carol Baskin killed her husband. And wow. Dr. Antel is just. I don't even know what the fuck you think about him, I actually. I, I don't know who these people are. We will next week. You're pretty intense with this. You gotta watch it. I Tell you. feel like if we were talking about Love is Blind, i check out. Yeah. Just like I'd check I'd out. I'd be done with it. So, that's the end of the Tiger King. Watch it next week. We'll touch more on that next week for sure. We have because to because now I got homework. So. I, I still am only three episodes in. I don't I don't know where this is going to turn. I might end up hating Joe Exotic. Next, well, now, next week. I saw Joe Exotic socks recently, and I was intrigued by them, and I kind of wanted them, but then I felt like I'd be a poser if I bought Joe Exotic socks. Well, here, I have, I have this, and, I mean, Joe Exotic ran for president in 2016. Really? Yeah. Never even heard of him. I didn't even see him. <laughs> and then he got the boot on that. Well, what, what kind of party, was, the go, what kind of party was he affiliated with? You go for governor. Was he affiliated with? He was a libertarian. Libertarian. Yeah. Oh. He ran as a libertarian. Okay. And uh, huh? I guess I guess somehow he got the boot. I didn't get that far yet, but then he ran for governor, and I mean, people loved him. Of what state? Oh, what state is he fucking in? That's a good question. We'll touch on that next week. Okay. 
Well, as you can see, over it's there. definitely not Florida though. So he is not the ultimate. No, Florida Carol man Baskin is in Florida. See, that's where I was confused. Nope. I thought this was a total Florida man. <laughs> no, thing. so the the one that killed her husband and fed her, fed him the tigers, and then uh, allegedly he tries to get everybody in trouble because allegedly. they have tigers in cages. You have to say allegedly. If not, the repercussions. Allegedly, mm -hmm. all of that previous and Perfect. what I'm about to say has tigers in cages herself. But hates people who has tigers in cages? We know people like that. Well, that's because we're Florida people. That's why. Boom. Boom. All right, let's get the hell out of Florida. Well, ah, uh, back to New York. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and take this one. Apparently, there's um, a new war. <laughs> allegedly. Now, in the 1980s, Reagan declared war on drugs. Right. Do you remember that? I did. Nancy Reagan did a whole thing, and it was a big deal. The D.A.R.E. program came out of it. Can yeah. you imagine the program in schools that is going to come out of this one? There's a new war out there, my well, friends. I have a feeling that it's going to be hosted by a Like, um... We can only hope. <laughs> like, story time. We all know about that. I mean, who wasn't young and just dreamed of a, an older middle-aged man sitting there, a little bit of scruff. Five o'clock shadow, if you will. Five o'clock shadow, uh, dressed in a tight skirt mm. with a wig, a <laughs> little you. bit of rouge, uh, just reading, <laughs> reading you Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he goes to switch his legs, and his Humpty Dumpty falls out. This escalated. Fuck. You know, I don't know. Uh, what's <laughs> maybe, maybe my childhood was different than yours. I mean, I went to a fucked up school, but you went to a school. Uh, <laughs> shit. Speaking of, uh... Let's go back to the new war out there. <laughs> Speaking of assholes... Donald Trump, don't trust China! China is asshole! China is asshole. China... Donald Trump, don't trust China! This China guy... is asshole! I, we need shirts of this guy. I, I need one. So I looked up this guy and I was trying to figure out what he's all about. Well, he's all about China's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> That's all you find. China's China asshole. Is, China is asshole. China is asshole. Uh, he's not wrong, but he's holding a Trump flag, so he's he's not right. He's not, <laughs> or is he is right? He's indifferent. China's asshole. China's asshole. But I I, def, I want a T-shirt that says China's asshole. That's it. Asshole. I don't want asshole. I want asshole. Somebody make that shirt, please. China is asshole. China is asshole. Leave the L and the E. Mm -hmm. off. Asshole. Or ass W H O L E. Asshole. Mm -hmm. Asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So speaking of assholes, let's go back to the new war. NYC declares a war on rim jobs, right? So apparently <laughs> that Can you imagine the task force <laughs> on rim jobs? <laughs> So apparently all you ass eaters out there are spreading the coronavirus. It's just a spread ass with a Ghostbuster no sign it. And a tongue? No. <laughs> Who are you going to call? No rim jobs. No rim jobs. Rim jobs are illegal in New York. Right? As of right now. As of right now. So listen. All you ass eaters <laughs> I can't. obviously don't care about my kids. I can't right now. About my mom. About anybody 65 plus in America. My grandma? You're selfish. How can I tell my grandma that ass eaters are, are I'm the sorry. spread of this? I'm sorry, grandma. Grandma. But you're probably going to die. And why? Why? Because these kids in New York City love to eat ass. No. No. No? I'm sorry. Just the way it is. Yeah. You're not going to get a fucking knitted sweater with an asshole on it this year. No. If I'm going to play devil's advocate. Mm. All you ass eaters out there. You better eat. All your ass eating in right now. No, right? because ass. it's only a matter of time before this spreads across. Well, America. no, ass eating was shut down of, in New York, to the state of New York, right? In New York, I'm talking to everybody oh, outside of New York, globally. No. You global ass eaters, global ass eaters, get it out now. Go out there, quit eat. what you're doing right this second. Eat ass. Listen, quit what you're doing right this minute. Go out there and go tongue punch a butthole. <laughs> do what you got to do. Get it out because it's going to be a while. Get it in. <laughs> get it, get in. it in. Get, get it, it in. out and get it in. Get it out get it in. You know what I mean? Get it out of your system. Get it in somebody's butt. Just <laughs> do it. Because you're going to be on quarantine for a while. Yeah, you're not going to be allowed to eat any ass. No. No ass. 
No ass. At least stay six feet from other people and be sure not to lick anyone's anus is a quote. But here's the thing. If you have a six foot tongue, <laughs> you're golden, baby. You can fucking lick ass from the safe zone. Blech. Boop. So, Boop. rimming. Definitely. Mouth on anus. Thank you. Right? It might spread COVID-19 virus mm. in the feces <clears throat> that may enter your mouth. Take care during sex. Yeah. Well, don't they have mouth condoms or something? Or something you could put over the butthole? Whatever happened to... Oh, you know what happened? The fucking baby wipe shortage. I don't know, man. I mean, if you... I guess it depends how eager you are and how into looking butthole you are. If you're a pro, I'm pretty sure that you can probably find feces no matter what. I, I think it's going to happen no matter yeah, what. Yeah, baby wipes or not. It's just that area. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's, it's a way of life. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. It's inevitable. So, okay. let's go ahead and go on to the next story because it's just gold right now with this this anus licking. It's a no. It's a war. It's a <laughs> it's war. It's a war. It's a war on on rimming. On rimming. And I mean, it's just it's un American. No, I think rim jobs is an American thing, right? No, the war on rim jobs is un American. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, it's the man it's taking a little. Taking away more of our rights. It is. Listen. Now I just lost my right of rimming. Well, you didn't have any yet. You don't live in New York. We're in Florida. It's a matter of time. It is a matter of time. That's what I'm saying. New Yorkers are coming down here. They're bringing their war on rimming with them. Go out there. uh, Lick a little little butthole. Get get your fix. Keep keep your your war on rimming back home. Keep that in the NYC. Yeah. Here in Florida, we're going to lick ass if we want to. And then it says whipping into the butt jokes. Yeah. That's just good. Uh, this is from the, the NY post, so I mean, it's probably. Well, I mean, it's in N1. Yeah, I know, but they're All right, we'll terrible the fucking writers, probably. Well, ah, oh, nice. There we go. Yeah. There we go. What's this? This, this one? is a little more. I like the graphic there. It has a tongue, a peach, and then a, a no symbol. The Ghostbuster. To me, that's the Ghostbuster no symbol. Right. It's the don't do it symbol. Right. I love those emojis. Why don't you take this over? Okay, uh, scroll back up real quick so I can just do this headline real quick. I'm not going to rim the headline. I'm just going to go around the rim. I'm not going to rim the headline. (laughs) Health officials ask you to please masturbate because of coronavirus. So I can take that several different ways. I can wake up in the morning and get my Google alert and now find out that 3,700 X amount are now infected in Florida. and Boom. Is that what gets you off? This is what it's telling me to do. Masturbate because of coronavirus. That's true. Now, yeah. are you masturbating to pictures of sick people? Are you masturbating because of corona? What, what to, are you that, doing? to that overused picture that they're using of, right. the, of the cell? Mm-hmm. Where it's, it's red? Yes. The little. Uh, Can you imagine just a, a all over that cell? I can't do that. No, I can't. It, 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 doesn't, it does nothing doesn't, for me. It doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. No, it doesn't. But rimming. <laughs> well, here we go. Look at the bubble, though. Here, here's the quote right underneath it. Kissing can spread COVID-19 and rimming might spread it, says the NY Health Department. Kind Again, of, kind of redundant. Back to New York. No, I mean, this is a New York thing at this moment. Rimming or COVID? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. The spread of COVID through feces. Hmm. Which, I mean, mixing those two words with rimming, right? Like, we've all been there. I mean, if, if you're doing that act at that time, you don't, you're not thinking about shit. No, you're not. not you're not thinking about shit. And they're just like, they're fucking ruining it. You're, you're in the moment and you're just, you're, you're eating like at a fucking <laughs> Chinese buffet. And maybe that's the problem. Ooh, Wuhan. <sighs> Chinese buffet. China God. virus. Racist. China virus. <laughs> China is asshole. China asshole. <laughs> Asshole. In there. I get it. Holy shit. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I can't stop with the puns. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wuhan. Holy China shit. China is asshole. Holy shit. <coughs> yep. Oh, man. So speaking of Chinese people. Now, you know, also know that there's another uh, virus coming out of China, right? Oh, good. Mm-hmm. What's that called? Yeah, I'm giving a shit. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Another so, you are safest... <laughs> you are your safest sex partner. Listen to that. You I and Lefty and no, Heidi no. are your safest no, sex this partner. this is bullshit. 
I've tried to fuck myself. Can I tell you how many times I've fallen forward and almost hurt myself? It's not fucking safe at all. Well, how about this? Say you go out to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You're touching a cart. You get a little uh, COVID on your hands. You go home. Do you get it? You got it. <laughs> you literally just stroked off with the COVID. Yeah. Hmm? Corona dick. Hmm. Do you have mine to that? <laughs> so we'll touch on Mexico soon. <laughs> we can and only hope. As for now, that's the end of our show. Thanks for watching. Cheers. It's whiskey and wine. Why what? Why? Why?